Hey there, Minecraft enthusiasts! Welcome back to Glaze Chunk, your go-to channel for all things Minecraft. Today we're diving deep into the world of blocks, mobs, and mechanics that defy all logic in this pixelated universe. Strap in, because we're about to unravel the mysteries of Minecraft's peculiar quirks that just don't make sense. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-boggling Minecraft content. Let's get started. Picture this, an anvil suspended in the air, defying gravity itself, never once falling. It's a Minecraft paradox, and here's why it happens. When a sticky piston retracts, it fails to update the blocks on top. Thanks to obsidian preventing the slime blocks from moving, this leads to a cascade of illogical blocks, a simple way to achieve update suppression even in modern versions. In the nether and the end, sleeping in beds is a big no-no. But villagers don't seem to have received the memo. By transporting a villager to these dimensions and placing a bed nearby, you can make them snooze peacefully without any explosions. It's like they're on an overworld time schedule. Just a bit jet-lagged. While floating sand and gravel make sense when you're using machines to suppress updates, Encountering them naturally in the world raises eyebrows. Mojang turned this bug into a feature, labeling it as a cave-in. However, they didn't add similar particles for snow layers, making them even more puzzling. Beacons are hard to obtain, requiring the defeat of the wither, glass, and obsidian. Yet regardless of whether you're using a pickaxe or not, you can break them with ease. It's a logical inconsistency that leaves us wondering why obsidian doesn't make them more resilient. What do frogs eat in Minecraft? Slime. Yeah, but also mutiny cubes. The idea of frogs munching on balls of magma seem more dangerous than the harmless fireflies. Mojang's fantasy theme might have taken it a tad too far with this one. Although, I wish they put fireflies in. It would also be cool. Ice boat highways are known for their incredible speed, especially in another. Carving out holes in the ice to save resources and make them cheaper might make sense, but it can be dizzying to follow, both in Minecraft's logic and camera movements. Wearing leather boots can keep you safe from freezing in powdered snow, but it feels like an overpowered safeguard against Minecraft's hazardous blocks. Falling from great heights with a boat also raises questions about block-specific survival. Throwing an instant health potion at a zombie damages it instead of healing. And vice versa for an instant damage potion. It's a counterintuitive feature that challenges our expectations. Rabbit stew seems underwhelming when you realize that consuming its individual ingredients separately restores more hunger. Mojang might need to give these stews an update to make them more appealing. At least, to some of us. Creating iron golems requires specific pumpkin placement, and if the pumpkin is in position the last, no golem will spawn. It's a strange mechanic, likely a holdover from earlier versions. Fishing in Minecraft can be overpowered, even after Mojang nerfed treasure loot tables. Random water sources can be exploited for a constant stream of fish, making the nerf feel inadequate. Snow leakers are thinner than a full block, making them challenging to navigate for players, but with a clever stacking technique, you can squeeze through tight spaces, adding a claustrophobic twist to cave exploration. Magma blocks are known for their heat, but when thrown into the end void, they disappear forever. It's understandable for players, but even a magically enchanted trident meets the same fate, leaving us a little puzzled. Why can't you craft nether wart blocks back into nether warts, when you can craft them into blocks in the first plate? It's an inconsistency that can leave players scratching their heads. And there you have it folks, a journey through the bewildering world of Minecraft's illogical quirks. If you've enjoyed this exploration of Minecraft's mysteries, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more mind-bending Minecraft content, here on Glaze Chunk. What other oddities in Minecraft have left you scratching your head? Let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, keep crafting and exploring fellow miners and crafters.